I believe that ex parte Milligan is one of the most important court decisions of all time. Decided a year after the end of the Civil War, the Supreme Court ruled that the U.S. military lacked the constitutional, constitutional authority during the war to try a U.S. citizen living in Indiana before the military court. Although the decision was made after the end of the Civil War, it is often cited as an example in which the Supreme Court overruled presidential action during wartime in order to, in order to protect civil liberties. For this reason, it is a landmark case. Lambton Milligan was a citizen who had been sentenced to death by an army court in Indiana after being accused of partaking in disloyal activities. Lincoln delayed his execution, but after Lincoln's assassination, the new president, Andrew Johnson, approved the sentence. Milligan's attorney appealed for his release under the 1863 Habeas Corpus Act, and the Federal Circuit Court split on the question of whether civilian courts had jurisdiction over appeals from military courts. This case gave the Supreme Court the chance to comment on the limits of the government's war powers. And what is a, land, and what is a landmark in the constitutional, constitutional protection of civil liberties? The court decided that the military rule could not replace the civil courts in areas where the civil courts and government remained open and operational. Indiana had been a loyal state, and its regular government and courts had functioned throughout the war. In this situation, the military courts had no authority over civilians. The ruling of Milligan allows the courts to protect the rights of citizens against the illegal actions of Congress, the President, and the military. The Lincoln administration overreacted to the threats of disloyalty in the northern states. The use of executive authority could only be justified by the unique conditions surrounding the Civil War. The court's ruling, however, came after the war had ended, so its primary value is as a precedent for future governmental action. The United States, fortunately, has not had to face the same problems of internal security in wartime that Lincoln had to face, although the fear of terrorism has brought the country close in the past decade. Such times, and that is why I believe it is the most. 